Welcome to Milrith Infant School. As you step through our doors, you will see at the forefront of everything we do are the values Nurture, Inspire, Challenge. Our welcoming office team is led by Mrs Jerram and they're happy to answer any questions you have during your time here. Past our front office, you'll find Mrs Ford, our head teacher, who greets children and parents on the playground daily and regularly visits classes to guarantee teaching and learning is exceptional. Next to Mrs Ford is Mrs Ty, our assistant head teacher, who oversees our curriculum and assessment, ensuring each child has their own individual learning needs met on a daily basis. Mrs Ford, Mrs Jerram and Mrs Ty are our three safeguarding leads, working together to keep all our children safe and happy. Welcome to our school hall, home to our delicious lunches cooked on site by HC3S and our sports sessions. We host breakfast and after school clubs, so all parents have the option of wraparound care. School assemblies are also held regularly. Next to our entrance and school hall is year two. Each of our year groups has a large shared area where the children can participate in role play activities. In year two, the children can also complete small group work out here, while in year R and one, the children have play-based learning. We currently have three classes in year two, penguin, puffin and sea otter. Our children can bring in a lunch from home or choose a hot or cold lunch prepared in our kitchen. For more information on lunches, please see our Millwrite Mondays video. All classrooms display key topic vocabulary and have phonics, English and maths working walls. All classes also have their own cloakroom for PE kit, coat and Wellington boot storage and in Key Stage 1 the children have their own named drawer to keep their book bags. Water bottles are kept in the classroom so children can have a drink at any point in the day but teachers do prompt children to drink at regular times. There are also eight toilets in each year group. Our Year 2 classrooms are set up for more formal learning with children spending a proportion of their time discussing and sharing their learning with input from the class teacher on the carpet and some of their time working in small groups with an adult or in small groups independently. All work is assessed by the class teachers daily and the children redirected to their next step. We believe every child is an individual and strongly advocate for an individual curriculum for each child. We do not have sets or groups, just key learning points that form a pathway which your child will progress along at their own pace. Our teachers are skilled at identifying when a child needs additional support to meet age expectations or when they could exceed their year group learning with further challenge. Thanks to our Parent, Teacher and Friend Association, or PTFA, all our classes have newly updated interactive whiteboards to share and model learning. All classrooms also have a pirate ship display, which forms part of our behaviour policy. Our teachers are passionate about delivering the best for every child and work to develop their subject knowledge with up-to-date training. We also participate in national projects to ensure we're at the forefront of education. We are currently participating in two government projects, one focusing on school-to-school -school leadership support and another which supports children with speech and language difficulties. Our staff have also worked with the Department for Education, assisting in the evaluation of current assessment practices in Key Stage 1 for phonics, reading and writing, and we have a Key Stage 1 moderator on staff also. The children visit our library weekly and can take a library book of their choice home. In class, they're also given a home reading book which is closely matched to their reading attainment. We also provide each child with a logon to an online reading book system. Please see our Millwrite Mondays video for more information about how reading progresses in our school and our reading badge rewards. Once you have walked through our library, you will find your R. We have three classes in our reception year, lobsters, turtles and seals. Year R is always busy. Our cloakroom is where each child will keep their coat and pee kit. Ahead of you, you can see turtle class. We have a play-based curriculum in Year R with ample space for children to choose activities to move their learning forward. Each area is carefully designed by our experienced staff. We encourage children to explore both indoor and outdoor learning with a variety of activities to move on fine motor, gross motor and knowledge-based skills. The children receive maths and phonics inputs daily with English, maths and foundation subject activities available to choose from. This week the children are learning how to make puppets and have available resources to make their own puppet as well as perform a puppet show. See if you can spot one as we look around. We have sand and water tables available to support pupils in developing their senses as well as malleable areas which may feature play-doh, foam or other textures. Reception has displays to help the children choose their learning, with examples of what a good one looks like out in the area to support. 
Helpful resources like sound mats, number displays and teaching staff are always present so children can reach their full potential. As you can see, we have plenty of indoor space for three classes, including snack tables, writing, computing and maths areas. We have a small world section with cars, Lego, Duplo, stickle bricks and other joining equipment where children can make their own topical models. We also have a permanent home corner just next to our malleable area so children can enjoy playing together and building on their own experiences of home. Each classroom has a step underneath their board so the children can reach the whiteboard and engage with computer-based phonics or maths games. We encourage children to take their learning in the direction that they are enthusiastic about and our skilled staff will skew this learning so it meets the needs of the early years curriculum. For example, during the puppet themed week, children may be encouraged to write lines for a play, count audience members, as well as make and perform their own plays. Each year group has a space where they can host small group support for children who may need additional help with their learning. This may include work on letter sounds, speech and language or number recognition. Overseen by our special needs coordinator or SENCO, each child will be given appropriate support when they need it, whether that is within the classroom, in a small group or drawing on the expertise of outside agencies. Our learning pathways are used throughout our school, so please be assured your child will receive the support and challenge that is right for them. Our attainment outcomes for early years, year one and year two are consistently higher than national data and we are proud of how hard our pupils and staff work. Our year R children are offered milk daily until they turn five and are also offered a playtime snack all the way through our school. All children are entitled to a universal free school meal, which is served in our school hall. And in addition to our home corner, we also have a discovery area with seasonal or topical items for pupils to explore using magnifying glasses, magnets and their own senses. At Millwrith, we are fortunate to have a large outdoor area specifically for Year R use, as well as an outdoor space for Year 1 and one for Year 2. Our sensory hut was purchased by our PTFA and built by our skillful site manager Mr Martin, alongside local volunteers. The children use the sensory hut and surrounding area to observe wildlife and seasonal changes as well as for reflection time. We have a den building area, mud kitchen and storage sheds for outdoor play equipment and encourage the use of the outdoors by all children. Our staff set up activities and support the children in building their key skills based in a secure understanding of the EYFS curriculum. There are opportunities for pupils to build their gross motor skills including coordination and core strength as well as building teamwork and problem solving skills. We ensure that children are confident in asking for help if they need it and staff are always keeping a watchful eye in case of a problem. All our staff are trained to deliver first aid in case it is needed and you'll be informed if your child has hurt themselves. We have a nurture courtyard for children who may need support in managing their emotions, worries or need help with a family situation like a bereavement, moving or a separation. Running, jumping and climbing are essential parts of childhood and we aim to support your child as they explore the world around them. We offer a sports based breakfast club run by an experienced coach and also offer swimming as part of our curriculum for each year group. Each child will have a fortnightly swimming session, year two pupils during the autumn term, year one during the spring and year R during the summer. Going back to the hall, we can also walk through to year one. Children from each class will collect their snack from the hall daily and take it back to be shared out. Snack is a variety of fruits and vegetables such as carrots, apples, pears and bananas. But before stepping into year one, you can go into our skylight room, which is where all of our Elsa and Nurture support takes place. It's a quiet space for people to share their worries and build relationships with their peers with adult support to help their confidence. In Year 1 we currently have two classes, Seahorse and Orca. Our shared area is set up for continued play-based learning with a transition over the year towards the more formal learning you saw in Year 2. The pupils are again provided with a reading book tailored to their needs and benefit from a range of areas to choose their learning from. This includes art, malleable, themed role play, writing, maths and fine motor resources. 
the staff work with the children to slowly reduce the amount of child-directed time and increase adult-directed activities over the course of the year, keeping in mind how the children's day was structured at the end of year R and how it will be structured in year two. The pupils benefit from continued phonics sessions daily and we pride ourselves on our excellent phonics provision with attainment exceeding both national and Hampshire data. In all year groups, learning is linked to the interests of the children with books to support and draw out learning. For example, in year one, the theme is Tales of Africa with Rudyard Kipling's Just So stories supporting the English and maths teaching, providing a valuable context for learning, such as retelling how the elephant got his trunk or counting the amount of legs that four crocodiles would have. As you can see, each year one classroom also has a cloakroom, tray storage, vocabulary, numbers and letters on display to help the children. We have a daily timetable and pirate ship on display in each class and utilise the pirate ship to support behaviour. We hope that this tour of our school has helped you get a sense of how we can support your child in developing academically and emotionally, as well as what our school looks like. All of our staff want the best for every child and will work alongside you as parents to support our pupils throughout their time here. We offer regular parents' evenings, but have an open door policy for anything you would like to ask or let us know. Our phone and Fridays start on the 27th of November and there'll be more Mirai Mondays to let you know how we nurture, inspire and challenge all of our children. So why is this the best school? Because they have got basketball hoops. It's got basketball hoops. Because it has a rope swing and a little instrument stuck to the rope and it never comes on. And it, we like the school because it's very fun outside and we um, also like going um, to all the things that we step behind, they're really fun. Oh, and okay. on the swing we like doing tricks for them that we have to be careful. Day. Why should more people join our school? Okay, so more, so more kids, children can get more, um, like more mass in their heads, like so they know what to do, so they get working properly, then they grow up and they know everything about stuff, and oh. um, so they can have um, more best friends to look after. That's what I'm going to say. And more people to. Be nicer to the next people and like do. Mm -hmm. The world is great because there's nice teachers around and the world is a great place to be. I think doing maths is quite fun using the resources. I use rulers to help me do bar models because I like my friends. When I put my hand in a playground, and I found a teenager who came and helped me. When I put stuff on the playground, the teacher helped me get up. The world is a great place to be because the teachers are really kind and they do great math. We chose Milride Infants because of the amazing outdoor space, the brilliant teachers and yeah, the surroundings. It's, they've got the opportunity to go to the beach, they um, are totally nurtured and the boys are really happy here. We have a really great experience with Milride. And we chose uh, Milride Infants School uh, for a number of reasons actually. One, because they got to have swimming lessons, uh, because of the garden, outdoors, the sensory garden. And uh, thirdly, because all the staff are so welcoming um, and really kind to all the children, and we've been here now for five years among our you know, children, so that was a really good choice for us. We were very impressed um, at the original walk around uh, with the attention from the teachers and the, uh, the competency with the answering of the questions that we had. My wife's a teacher, and we felt very comfortable with the school. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a great place to send. Milride Infant School is a lovely school. My girls enjoy coming here every day. They especially love the beach school and the swimming. All the teachers are very caring and give every child the time and attention each one deserves and needs. And my child's always very happy to come to school and always leaves full of smiles when I pick them up. There's just a lovely warm feeling throughout the whole school. It's very friendly. The staff are all fabulous. Hello.
and we have the most amazing PSPA team. The teachers are fantastic and are so dedicated to the children's learning and well-being. The head teacher's determination to provide the best for each individual child is just so lovely to see. That mixed with the stimulating learning environment and the wide variety of activities here, like beach school and swimming, makes me very proud and happy to have my child attend Neuro Distance School.